project management in real world this is very interesting in last section we already understood how project management workstream works with sap activate what are the options available what are the templates what are the guiding tasks which sap gives us those are all good things let's understand how project management in real world work and this is one funny example if you have seen one old comic you can skip this section but if you haven't seen that uh, you will really enjoy it so let's see how project management works in real world if you remember this swing example you can skip this i saw it like years back and i still recommend it to everyone who is new to the project management because it's very funny and the most important part is it is very accurate so let's see the first step is how the customer explained it customer explains you see there is no visual picture right they are explaining their thought process probably in a ppt or in a conference call with you and you understand okay this is how they want probably they want or something on which they want to swing right this is what customer think he is explaining but what you understand as a project leader is something like this so you understand okay customer wants this this is the mental picture you have in your mind and when it reaches to analyst this is how he understand or she understand it that you know there is a cut between a tree and you want to swing so there is a difference between the different perspective and filtering of the data through different stakeholders that's what analyst understand and that's how programmer wrote it he understood okay this is how they want so this is it i made it and this is what beta tester received right they received okay this is something which needs to be tested so they tested accordingly and how the business consultant described it i mean consultants are always with their uh, good knowledge of english and flowery words uh, they said okay you want a sofa on a swing that will look nice uh, behind there is a sunrise that's beautiful and how the project was documented so you see if you have worked on projects you will understand documentation most of the time is very poor unless you have a fixed timeline for documentation guiding principles and your team is very good at it otherwise documentation is something which always suffers what operation installed it okay they just installed the tree and a rope infra team basically and how the customer was built this is very funny i mean whatever the project is customer has to pay for it and you see for a swing they are paying for a roller coaster this is funny uh, take it with a pinch of salt and how it was supported there is no support it's very difficult <laughs> and um, what marketing is advertising okay this is what marketing is telling their customer this is what we are promising you will be getting i swing you know with the i mark the very popular products with i so this is what marketing promoting it what the customer really needed so this is what the customer really needed they wanted a tree and a tire hanging through a rope so you understand even though customer wanted this they explained this and when it went to different stakeholders that's how they understood or that's how they marketed or created so you have to understand project management in real world has many stakeholders and to be aligned with all of them is very important you should have a common vision of all the achievable goals otherwise it get very difficult and later you find out that you know this is not something which customer wanted and most important thing is most of the time customer themselves don't know what they want right they want actually this but they will explain you this so you have to work with them and understand the requirement and guide them if they are not understanding clearly if you think there is a gap between their thinking itself you can guide that and how you can do it if they give me all the requirement and i go to my team and i just build everything and at the final stage i ask for uat probably customer will say no i am not giving uat i wanted this why you are building something like this right so for that how companies are moving is they are moving in the direction where they are more agile they are more receptive of change and customer itself is very receptive of change so what is happening is companies people are moving to agile methodology and sap activate is no different they also are recommending agile methodology for sap activate so what happens in agile is you take feedback at every stage so you divide task 
or the overall project in multiple tasks and you take feedback for every stage starting from the early stage from customer so customer can guide you and you can also guide the customer they get to see the actual product how it will look so they will understand if i show them in initial stage that this is how your swing will look they will say no 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 i don't want this they will say probably i want a tire here and not this once they see it they will realize how different their perspective was when they gave you the requirement that's why people are moving towards agile so you have a continuous feedback loop iterative approach to build your system so you don't get a surprise at the end of your typical project timeline we'll go further in these details in next section thank you